your own custom design on a denim jacket. I recently painted this design for a lovely girl going to Splendor. This is a bear with a bunch of sunflowers, a bunch of happy, vibrant sunflowers. So if you would like to learn how to paint something happy, vibrant and fun on your denim jacket, then please keep watching. Let's start by jumping into what we're going to need today. Um, the first thing that you're going to need is space, obviously. You need to lay down your denim jacket somewhere flat and somewhere that you can leave it because this does take, well, it took me quite a few days and many hours, so. <laughs> Next up, you'll need some fabric medium. Um, this mixes in with the paints that I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, I don't think it really matters what brand you get. I just got this one because I've used this brand before and it seems to work perfectly fine for me. Next up, you'll need a paintbrush or two. Um, I used, I think, two or three. I used a big one, a medium one, and then a smaller one just to help with corners and the flicks of the petals. Last but not least, you will need paint. Obviously, just get a bunch of colours that you like, whatever goes with the design that you're using. Obviously, I'm painting sunflowers and a bear, so I'm going to need things like yellow, brown, black, pink for the bear's mouth, all of that jams. Before you start painting your denim jacket, you're going to need to sketch out a design that you like or just go into Pinterest, maybe copy something if you can't think of one that you like just off the top of your head. After you've sketched your design out and you are happy with it, what you're going to need to do is just place it next to your jacket, flatten your jacket out, and then you're going to need to sketch it even bigger onto the back of your jacket. Um, I just did this with, I think, a gel pen. I used a light one to start with in case I messed it up. And then I went over with a green one, which seemed to stand out pretty well on the jacket for me. To make it so that your acrylic paint can go onto your denim jacket easily and will stick there and stay in there and bind to the fabric, you're going to need to mix it with the fabric medium. Um, I just read the instructions for mine and it said half-half, so that's what I've based that on and it's worked great for me so far. Depending on the colour of your jacket, um, you may need to do many layers and also depends on what colour you're painting it as well. Since I was painting a blue denim jacket yellow, uh, the first few layers I did turned out green. So I had to do, I think about what, six layers before it turned from a sickly weird green looking colour to the actual yellow that I was after. Um, so if there is one thing I can tell you before starting this, you will need patience. <laughs> Normally while I'm painting I either listen to music or podcast or an audiobook or something like that. So I actually found painting this denim jacket to be really therapeutic and it was kind of like meditating for me because once the outline's up there and once I know I'm you know, what design I'm doing, what colours I'm painting with. For me, it's just kind of like second nature. So, I don't know, maybe just get some good podcasts queued up and sit there for a single day. It's probably going to take you longer than that. Um, prior to this, I also went in and added a little bit of shadow to the petals of the flowers. Um, this just helps to give them a bit more depth but uh, with the bear I kind of wanted it to look like a bit almost cartoony or maybe more like a tattoo design or something like that I didn't want it to look realistic because I think that would just be too much busyness on the back of the jacket and it was so big as well I just don't think that it needed it um, but yeah I guess just consider what design you're doing and in what style you want to do it as well. After I painted the bear brown, I decided that it was way too brown. So I mixed um, a lighter shade of brown and then I just covered it all up. 
it ended up getting really dark and I was painting into the night while I finished it. So this is the finished version of the design. Um, I just did the rest of the bear and then I went in and did a black outline um, around the whole design. I thought this looked kind of cool because it sort of made it look, look, sorry, <laughs> it sort of made it look like it was a patch or something like that I just I think that it gave it more contrast and made it kind of like pop out of the back of the jacket anyway thank you for making things with me today I hope this has been helpful and if you do end up making something for yourself painting a little flower in your own denim jacket please show me I would love to see <laughs> I'm still deciding what I want to paint on the back of my own jacket, um, but this one is happy with its new owner now and she looked vibrant and gorgeous. That's splendor in it.